The fiber entrance cabinet may be mounted on a stable, flat, vertical surface. Measure and drill four holes on backboard material, such as thick plywood, for mounting the FEC. Partially install two mounting bolts, not provided, in the top holes. Place the FEC top mounting holes, keyholes, over the bolts. Insert two bolts and washers into the bottom mounting holes. Tighten all bolts. Open the door and remove it for easier access. Route the cables to the appropriate cable access port on the cabinet. Slide out the grommet. Use the proper tool to remove the cutout in the grommet that matches the outside diameter of the cable. Slide the grommet back into place and feed the IFC cable through the cutout in the grommet. Inside the cabinet, once the fiber cables have been opened and dressed, determine the length of cable required from the breakout point to the tie-down point on the splice tray. Make sure there's proper slack in the subunits so the tray can be fully opened and closed. Before opening the cables, clamp the cables to the mounting brackets inside the FEC using cable clamps. Open the drawer, lift the strap, and remove the splice tray cover. Route the IFC subunit counterclockwise around the radius limiters and enter the splice tray at the left side bottom. Secure the protective tubing to the tray. Route the IFC fiber breakout one and a half times around the inside of the splice tray to the respective splice chip. Route the OSP subunit clockwise around the radius limiters and enter the splice tray at the left side top. Secure the subunit to the tray. Route the OSP fiber breakout one and a half times around the inside of the splice tray to match the IFC fiber breakout. Replace the tray cover, strap, and close the drawer. Be sure to ground the FEC per your local practice.